Alright, finally got my hands on the infamous laser active. Um, I'm sure most people are at least familiar with it by now. But essentially it's a laser disc player. Either equipped with a PC engine or a Mega Drive or Turbo Graphics or Genesis, depending on where you live in the world. And as you can so in other words, it's basically a PC engine or Mega Drive hooked up to a laser disc player. Um and this is something I've been wanting for a very long time, to be truth, in truth. But they're fairly expensive, and in some ways they're not as good as the normal hardware. Not just the price. Um, I mean, you know, like a normal Mega Drive, you just need an RGB cable. And the PC Engine can be easily modded for RGB. The Laser Active, though, you're kind of stuck with composite. I mean, you can get S-Video, but it only it's only for the actual Laserdisc videos themselves. As far as playing the actual games, I've seen one place that has a theory on how to do an RGB mod, but I've never heard of anyone actually attempting to do one on one of these things. And I certainly wouldn't be the first. To, I wouldn't be willing to be the first to try it. Truth be told, I was actually considering getting one of the NEC laser actives, which, if you're not aware, uh, in Japan, due to the licensing deal to get the PC Engine packs, uh, NEC had the right to make their own laser active system and so there's actually one branded with the NEC markings and it's pretty much the exact same thing although it's more of a gunmetalish gray color and has as opposed to the black Pioneer version and it's pretty nice and it's definitely rarer but in Japan honestly they tend to sell for about the same price but mm. This, I got a good deal on this one. Good condition, fully working. And as you can see, we've got we've got the... Uh, I just set this up. I haven't even turned it on yet, so it should be fully working. <laughs> we'll find out in a minute. But yeah, I've got the Mega Drive pack in there. And we've got the main system manual. The actual original Laser Active Mega Drive pad. And you know, the PC Engine Pack Manual, the Remote, Mega Drive Pack Manual, the Laser Active PC Engine Pad, which I really like, the black and gold, it looks cool. And then there's my PC Engine Pack. So, this is a system I've wanted for a while, uh, but it's, but I've been holding back on it. See, personally, in my opinion, the only real reason to buy one of these is if you want to play the Laser active exclusive games, meaning the Mega LD ROMs and the PC Engine LD ROM ROMs, meaning the actual games that are on laser discs, as this is the only thing that can play them. And of course, being laser disc games, they're pretty much all FMV games in some form or another, which a lot of people really hate FMV games, which is understandable. Personally, I really like them. I don't know if it's just memories from the arcade or being amazed by, you know, Oh, what was it, playing in the first, like a really cheesy, you know, murder, murder one court game made by Proterbund, I think, on my old 486, uh, a long time ago. But anyway, I like FMV games. I like cheese, and FMV games are some of the cheesiest ever made. Uh, so for that reason, I wanted a system. So if you don't really have any interest in the laser active games, you're kind of missing the point, you know, it's like, it's kind of a neat way to play the old games, but I mean, it's freaking huge, of course. It's kind of one of those things where, like, you know, it's like someone that goes out and buys a Ferrari and then never breaks the speed limit, or the soccer mom that buys, you know, the H2 and then uses it to go grocery shopping and nothing else. Sure, you know, it looks cool and it's okay to do that, but you're kind of missing the point. And the point of the laser active are laser disc games. Now these are pretty easy to get in Japan, you just have to be willing to spend a little bit. And the main reason that I've held off for so long getting one is because I in my mind, since it's a worthless system to have if you're not gonna play the laser disc games, I did it opposite. It's, I decided to wait and pick up laser discs, the laser disc games themselves over time, and then you know, once I had a, a decent number then I finally got the system, and I finally did that. Over the last few months, I've been, you know, keeping my eyes open and finding some good deals. 
So, I already have a pretty decent stack of Laserdisc games, which I naturally keep in the Asahi beer box. Perfect size. Okay, so, we've got so far Rocket Coaster. This is one I've been uh, dying to play, and oh crap, my battery's gonna die soon, so I'm gonna make a quick cut here and switch to uh, external power. Alright, sorry for the cut. We're on uh, the power line now. Uh, so yeah, back to the games. we got Rocket Coaster here. Alright, now before I go any farther, Laser Active, the, uh, the Laser Disc games basically come in three categories. Games, Porn, Edutainment. Yeah, that's pretty much about it. <laughs> the games, of course, all use FMV in some way. The edutainment discs are basically quiz games with FMV, and then the porn games are, well, porn. Um, so again, the games, I don't know, I really, I mean, I haven't really played these myself yet, but from what I've seen on a few videos of, I'm really looking forward to it, especially this one. I think this is the one that really first sold me on the system. There's a rocket coaster here, which, uh, basically a race kind of a racing game, futuristic style, but, you know, uh, the track and the backgrounds are completely, you know, pre-rendered FMV CG, recorded as FMV on the Laserdisc, which, I don't know, in my opinion, looks pretty cool. So I think this is going to be the first one I try in this vid. Alright, and we've got Vajra. Uh, this is actually an LD, one of the PC Engine Laserdisc games. Uh, I mean, the games, you know, there are Mega Drive and PC Engine Laserdisc games. And I hate to say it, but the Mega Drive definitely won. <laughs> uh, there are a few games that were released on both formats, but in general, most of the decent games are on the Mega, on the Mega Drive pack. The PC Engine pack... Mm. Well, it got a lot of edutainment, a few quizzes, um, some porn, and the Vajras. So, yeah, this is the first Vajra, um, which is... This is actually from Data West, the same people that brought you Ray Zamber, and then about a million different psychic quiz detective games on old PCs. So yeah, that's I like Data West's shooting games, and that's one of the better games to own as far as the PC Engine games. And then next we've got its sequel, Vajra 2. This is, to be honest, probably the most sought after of the PC Engine Laserdisc games. I mean, it's the direct sequel to the first game, and this is one I am very, very excited to play. Because, I mean, if you look on YouTube, there's a some there's a cool dude named Fact28, I think it is, who's, uh, he's made recordings of a lot of the Laserdisc games, but this game, there's almost nothing on whatsoever. Uh, there's a few videos, there's a couple of videos of the opening sequence, which look okay, but, uh, as far as actual gameplay footage of, there's pretty much zero of it, just about nothing, and, um, this is one of the games that was only released in Japan. And I didn't, to be honest, I didn't think it was that rare because I didn't really pay a whole lot of money for it or anything like that. It was just kind of there. But after, you know, I first found this, I posted a few pictures up on a few of the forums I regular, that I'm a regular at. And I actually, people PM me offers to buy this before I've even got a system to try it on. So apparently people want this one. This one I'm definitely going to probably save for uh, its own video just because there is, you know, just about nothing on it. So I'm not going to be doing this one today, but this is one that we will definitely be coming back to. And as you can see, it actually is one of the few games that support the 3D goggles. Yes, the Laser Active had its own 3D goggle system. Very similar to the Famicom and the Master System, meaning the old shutters. And The official ones are pretty rare, but it just uses the composite, vi so the composite video, so you can use just about any generic pair. And we got next we got Hyperion, uh, one of the FMV shooters, probably one of the 
better games from what I'm told. We'll get to that one sooner or later. Then we got Space Berserker, which is another shooter. I hear it's only about 20 minutes long, but a great tech demo. Nice CG work. This one's pretty cheap, so... Worth picking up even if it is short. Uh, then we got Triad Stone. Fortunately, I don't have the spine card for this one, but it was the only copy I've been able to find so far, and it was fairly affordable. This is uh, one... This is, you know, an old arcade game from, like, 85, and this one's got some great voice at work in it. Games like Power, Power, Power! Uh, this one was, uh... This one was released on, like, the 3DO, and the Saturn is, like, Strawl, I think, but missing a lot of stuff, including the narrator, which the narrator's the best part of the game, in my opinion, but that's definitely one of the more popular games on the laser and laser discs. Definitely one that everybody wants. Oh, okay, and we got Pyramid Patrol. If you actually, you know, were a kid when these were new, you would probably remember this game, because this was, like, the... I mean, when, if you actually look at the launch titles on the Laser Active, this is like the only one that's not a quiz or edutainment. This was pretty much like the first real ga game the system had. So it's... Some people really hate this game. I myself, I only have vague memories of playing it from a kiosk demo you know, 20 years ago. So... Looking forward to seeing if it's actually enjoyable or not, but if you're going to buy Laser Active, you know, you don't really have a whole lot of options. So that's all the real games I have. Let's get to the porn. <laughs> oh, we got Virtual Cameraman. Uh, I can't show you the back of this one because it's got nudity on it. <laughs> yeah, good old Virtual Cameraman. Fortunately, Japanese girls weren't so good looking back in the early 90s. They didn't really get all that... I think it was about 1996 when Japanese girls started getting really hot, but... Still, though, this looks like an amusing game, as... You know, you basically talk... You take pictures, you talk to your girls, and... Pick the right choices, and they take their clothes off. <laughs> and what else could we follow that but with, but with the sequel, Virtual Cameraman 2? This one supports the 3D goggles, woo! 3D laser disc porn, I mean, what more could you want? <laughs> Uh, interesting to note, uh, the Virtual Camera and Games got released on the 3DO, but the 3DO, I guess because, you know, my normal CDs, I guess they didn't have enough room, so the two LD games became, I think, five or six separate releases on the 3DO. So on the 3DO, you had to buy, like, six separate discs, and, of course, the video quality was worse just to get the same amount of porn that you'd get from the two laser active discs. Plus, this has the 3D mode. Also, I have a weird history with this with this series, because long, long time ago, when I was you know a poor, starving college student, I found in the U.S. I found a good old a, my, a 3DO in a pawn shop for 20 bucks, which I bought, and then I went on you know back then DC plus plus hubs, whereas the uh, the pirating wave of the future, and went on there and to try and download some games, and the only one I could find at first was one of the Virtual Cameraman games. <laughs> don't remember which one, but... So, it be interesting to finally see this one in its, uh... True Laserdisc quality glory. And then finally we got, uh... Angel Mate. This is... Well, this is another PC Engine game. Only I only have three of them. This one and the two Vajras, which... The Vajras are really the only ones that are real games from what I can see. So this is, uh... This is basically strip poker. Pick your girl, play poker... Wind chips, put them in a roulette, and then they take their clothes off. But yeah, I gotta say, you know, it takes a certain type of insanity to, uh, you know, get this monstrosity machine, get the add on pack, just to play PC Engine powered laser disc strip poker. You know, it's. You know you've lost your mind when you own a copy of Angel Mate. Either way, no spine, unfortunately, but this one was pretty cheap, so... And so that's my current crop of games. Of course, if you're familiar familiar with the system, you'll know I'm missing the, uh, 
the two most sought after games for the entire Laser Active, which are, of course are Road Blaster, aka Road Prosecutor, which was ported to the Sega CD as Road Avenger, and of course the Almighty Time Gal. Both of which of those games are generally easy to find, they're just really expensive, and I do, of course, plan on getting them someday. I mean, the system of a library this small, you might as well get the, the best games it has, and all of them, they're actually real games. So, alright, so anyway, that's uh, what I've got going so far. So, I think I'm going to make Rocket Coaster the first one, because this is one of the ones that really attracted me to the system, because it, in my opinion, one of the better uses of FMV I've seen. So, alright, okay, unfortunately now that I'm on cord, uh, I have a little less camera, from now that I'm on a cable, so it's going to make things a little trickier. So, okay, well, let's turn this puppy on. Fortunately, I don't have batteries for the remote yet, so, manually. And let's hope she actually works, because I really don't want to have to box this thing up again. <laughs> alright. Power on. Hey, all right. We got lights. All right, no problems with the mega track. And oops, I forgot to plug the controller in. Ah, shit. Hold on a minute. Can't read those down. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, in case you're wondering, um, the packs do have like the SRAM built into them. So Sega CD games and PC Engine CD games do have their save support, just like the normal systems would. Okay. LD open. All right. I've heard of people that have a lot of these that have like broken trays, but no problems yet. <laughs> and excuse me as I take a rocket coaster out of its dust jacket. One of the things I love about Japan is just about every place puts their stuff in these nice dust covers, and it's especially nice for, nice for laser discs. So yeah, laser disc games, um, they do come with manuals, but they're generally fairly simple. Um, ironically, Virtual Cameraman 2 seems to have the longest manual of all the games I have. And Triad Stone is the only one that seems to be in color. It's in full color. The rest are all black and white. But they're they're not like copies or anything. They're actually little, they're like, you know, that paper plastic insert material. Alright, so let's get Rocket Coaster in here. Laser discs are always something that are just cool to me. You know, when I was a kid, I only had one friend whose family actually owned a laser disc player. All right, play. Disc goes in. Ugh. But yeah, he was like the only kid in town. I mean, he didn't have a laser active, just a normal movie player, but it was like, holy shit, man. Whoa. It was, it was really impressive stuff back there. But of course, we never really actually got to watch the movies because since laser discs were so expensive, what his family did was they just rented laser discs, and then they, you know, copied them on VHS. So I think it was just the name. In fact, it had laser disc. Anything you want to make something sound cool, or put laser in the title. Love that music. Dun dun dun. Alright. Is that the intro play? Welcome to Gateway Islands. Gateway Islands is a group of islands artificially built as a huge amusement land. Enjoy yourself with the amusement machines that implement state-of-the-art technology. Now we will take you to Rocket Coaster, the most thrilling machine we have here. Man, the Laserdisc voiceovers are awesome. And technology-wise, this is basically a Sega CD, just hooked up to Laserdisc player. Dun, 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 dun. 
options. Oh, hey, it actually supports up to four players. I'm guessing it's just past the pad, though. Accelerate, brake, special, which according to the manual is for use for the speed boosting contests. Alright. Well, uh,. They get more difficult as you go from left to right, but since I've watched the video of Fax video of the fantasy level about 20 million times now, let's try adventure, see something different. Um, eh, red must be fast. Here we go. Awesome. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. And I'm already in love with this game. Seriously, it is one of the best. Oh, so you actually can fall off the track. Shit, that was awesome. I love you, Taito. Your music is amazing. Um, well, let's try the blue one. Suck. <laughs> huh. Eject. Oh. <laughs> well, um. Yeah, this is actually quite a bit harder than it looks. It's really easy to fly off that track. Um. Flight car number one. The manual does say what the differences are, but. Screw it, let's just screw around for now. Dun 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 Turbo! You don't die! Dun dun Break! Break, break, don't die! Don't die, don't die, don't die! Go, 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 go! Don't die, don't die! Don't wanna die! Yeah, this one's a bit easy. Ah! Ooh, shit, that was close. And if there is a, there's a qualifying time that you have to pass, or you also get game over. Man, this must have looked fucking unbelievable. Oops, I'm dead again. <laughs> this must have looked unfucking believable back in, you know, 94 when, or so when this came out. It still looks great. Maybe I'll try the, the easiest track, because I'm not doing so well here. <laughs> Man, music is epic. It has a sound test, thank god. But yeah, this is definitely already reason enough for me to own this gigantic system. This has got this gotta be the one of the best uses of FMV in a game I've seen. Um try the red one again. And this time we'll go with the first set of tracks and see if we can actually complete a lap without dying. Dun 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 Power! <laughs> don't die, don't die! <laughs> this is actually way, way harder than it looks in the in Fax video. 
Managed to complete a lot without dying. First level without dying. Woo Two laps. actually completed a course without falling to our death. And I qualified! Yeah, I'm already pleased with my purchase. Uh, let's try the next one. <laughs> Um, man, this this really does look awesome. And I got well, just ran into a donut. <laughs> Eject. Boom. Oh, it's so depressing. Alright, give this one one more try. I'd assume one is normal, one's good at turning, and one's good at speed. I'll just look at the manual later. This one's definitely accelerating slower. Can I survive? Alright, remember there's a sharp turn coming up. Don't choke, don't choke, don't choke, don't choke, don't choke. Woo! Made it. But not that one. <laughs> I suck. Set, I think. Oops. Okay, there you go. Hold it down to go back here. Um, laser disc open. Well, mm, eh, why not? Let's make a. So let's try one more game today. I'm tempted to put the Vagers on, but then I have to turn the system down and change over to the PC Engine pack, so... Oh, let's not mess with that yet. <laughs> oh, I don't know, let's try... Probably shouldn't do the porn. Um, let's try Triad Stone. This is another one. This is definitely one of the more popular games on the system. Forgive me if I make it out of the baggie. Normally, like, my normal games I don't really keep in baggies so much, because most games just aren't so delicate, but since these do have, you know, cardboard sleeves, and Japan is very good at collecting dust, 
cardboard sleeves I definitely prefer to keep in plastic. So this is one that, uh, this is another one of the super popular ones. This is a, you know, I think a Data East game from 1985 originally. And, um... And it's, uh, I mean, and this is more like your typical Laserdisc arcade game when you think of stuff like Dragon's Lair or like, you know, t or like Time Gal or whatever where you just, like, you hit the directions and stuff. But this one is just crazy fun from what, I've, from what it looks like anyway. Probably going to get my ass kicked, but we're going to give it a try. Because unlike, unlike Time Gal, where you just like hit a direction, or like Dragon's Lair, this one tells you what to do, I think, but this one you actually, you have directions that you just touch to dodge. Then yeah, you actually have a power, which I think you just mash, as well as your sword button. So, uh, probably not going to make it too far in this. But, I've been dying to play this, why not? Love the narrator in this game. It's worth it just for the narrator alone. Yeah, this is awesome already. Disperse them. So awesome. This is this is like the eighties in God of the eighties. Power, power, power! I'm well, not doing too bad. Power every two seconds. This is awesome. Some people hate games that talk. I love games that talk. And yeah, the ports called Straw and like the 3D and the Saturn, they don't have the narrator. They're also missing levels and have much worse video quality, but the narrator just makes the game, in my opinion. This isn't so hard yet. It's only the first stage, but. Though I, though I think if you turn the difficulty up to hard, you don't get the hint arrows anymore. It plays more like Dragon's Lair, where you just have to hit the right thing at the right time with no indication whatsoever. God, I love that hairstyle, man. <sighs> Anime these days just sucks. 90s was okay, but 80s... I am a product of the 80s. Damn proud of it. Alright, well I managed to play the first stage. Um... Okay, I don't know, um... Play this one. Ooh, lava. Left, left, right, up, what's coming, what's coming, I don't know, oh, I think I died, <laughs> yeah, you get, you get like half a second, it's, Surprisingly fun though, I mean, you know, a lot of people like to mock these games that all you do is hit buttons, but, and honestly, it's basically just the 80s version of the rhythm action game. You know, today you got all those music games, and 
You're basically doing the same thing. Gotcha, bastard. Up. Power. But instead of doing it to, you know, the music of the week, you do it to badass 80s anime laser, uh, laser disc. Yeah, this doesn't seem that hard yet. Just can't mess up. Whew. Don't. Oh, too slow. <laughs> All the way back to the start? I think I'm on my last life. I'm reading the meter at the top right. Down. Left. Left. Right. Up. Gotcha. I can't wait to play Virtual Man, Cameraman 2 in 3D. 3D laser just porn. Man, that gives me such a nerdgasm. I can't believe I just said nerdgasm. Um, this is like, how much more awesome can you fucking get? Cheesy porno game on laser disc that has 3D goggle support. You know something's gonna happen, but you don't know what it is. Ah, away. Jump. Left. Yeah. You guys are fucking badass. It's crazy, crazy. Good animation, too. Oh, hey. Did I live? I live! Stage two clear. Skip the story. Um, try the snow one. What's gonna happen? I don't know! Down. Left. Down. 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 Up. Oh shit, man. Up, up. Right. Up. Down. Left. Left. Shit, what's gonna happen? I don't know. What's next? What's next? Up. Right. Uh. Ah! I lose. I fail. Well, game over, I guess. <laughs> well, I think that's all I'm gonna do in this video. So, uh, you've seen the stack of games I have at this point. Hopefully, I'll get a few of the other ones, though. Truth be told, there's basically, um, there's basically Time Gal, Road Blaster, Ghost Rush, which looks rather terrible from the one vid I watched, High Ruler Battle, which doesn't really look all that special, and then there's all the edutainment crap and some more porn. So, <laughs> yeah. I think I already have most of the good games, so, uh, but yeah, if you want to see anything in more detail, 
or specific game requests, just let me know and I'll do it. I definitely plan on, uh, Vajra 2 will definitely be done soon. So don't worry about that one, because I know there are a lot of people that want to see that game and actually gameplay footage of that one, finally. So that one will be coming soon. And, uh, yeah, if you like FMV games, you like 80s stuff, Laser Active is a cool little system to have. Not cheap, but, uh, totally doable. Well, see you later.